Mm. Success. It's so good. It's so good. Okay, yes. so my whipped coffee came out great. So it's kind of it frothy on the top, if you guys can kind of see. It almost looks like peanut butter. And I will amend, we've got coffee everywhere. It's so I good, I will though. amend the recipe a little bit. So we had, uh, what, two tablespoons? Yeah. Do three. Yeah, Do of, three. of water, right? Of water. Yeah. The more water you have, the more frothier and thicker it will get, but still keep your two tablespoons of coffee and stuff. Keep that the same. And then um, we use almond milk, so you can use any kind of milk yeah. substitute that you want and get that just all stirred up in there. It's uh, delicious. For some goodness. So it's very, very good. I'm very, very excited yeah. that it works. And it's a fun way to mix up your coffee, your your normal morning coffee, yes, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Super, Absolutely. super excited. Yeah. All right, well, you may not be able to go out for entertainment, but... Right. It's coming to you at home. That's right. Everything from stage shows to a staple of Main Street USA. Here's our David Daniel kicking off today's trending stories in our Hot, Hot Topics. Topics. It's a beautiful day for musical fans. The 1998 London production of Rodgers and Hammerstein's Oklahoma, starring Hugh Jackman, is streaming for free this weekend on Broadway HD. Selena Gomez is out with a new video for her song Dance Again. There's also Dance Again merchandise in her online store, and a portion of the proceeds goes to the Music Cares COVID-19 Relief Fund, which helps members of the music community affected by the coronavirus. When you wish upon a star, it makes no difference who you are. If you've been to a Disney park, you've likely been serenaded by the Dapper Dans. With the parks closed, the Dans are coming to you. The Barbershop Quartet, actually a quartet of quartets, harmonized from their various homes to launch a planned series of Voices from Home performances by Disneyland cast members. And they're taking requests through an online poll on the Disney Parks website. Wishing upon a star in Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. Well, thank you, David. <laughs> Speaking of Broadway, yeah. the lights are dim on Broadway after the coronavirus closed curtains on performances. Mm -hmm. So on today, World Theater Day, it might be difficult to find a show to attend. Actors, directors, and production assistants pour their hearts and souls into performances, and you can still support the arts through various nonprofits or buy tickets for when the shows and the theaters reopen. After all, the show must go on. That's right. University of Tennessee had an online class because yep. I definitely want to get to the next story really quick. Yeah. Peyton Manning crashed a communications class. Yes. This was hilarious. So the students are there the student, and the teacher's like, hey, so Mr. Thompson, you're late and it's Peyton Manning. He's yeah. like, hey guys, sorry, I'm late. But he did want to encourage the students to make sure that they stay positive and that they do something to help somebody out, especially now amid the coronavirus outbreak. Yes. And just let me sneak this one in there. It appears the wildlife <laughs> in Montana are unaware of social distancing rules. Dion Broxton and a reporter in western Montana was preparing to tape a story at Yellowstone National Park with something caught his eye. It was a herd of bison walking right toward him. And you can hear Broxton say, oh no, Listen I ain't messing him. with you, before he quickly packs up his gear and drives away. I love it. And they said that uh, he responded the exact way that he was supposed to when approached by bison. I love that. Yeah, I love it too. <laughs> Stick with us. We've got more Good Day in WA coming up right after this.